South Africa, home to some of nature's most magnificent beasts. The rhinoceros, the elephant, the lion, perhaps none more savage than the crocodile. And for now, home to 10 of the world's strongest men. Welcome one last time to Sun City in South Africa, where just five days ago, 30 of the strongest men in the world converged on this holiday paradise to do battle for the ultimate prize in strength athletics. Injuries took their toll. Some athletes were simply not up to the task. And now that 30 has become just 10. Six gruelling tests of strength await to determine who will become the world's strongest man. It's one of sport's most evocative titles, and just a select few can lay claim to it. Now a new generation are seeking greatness. They're ready to pull, lift or push anything in their way. But the biggest obstacle they'll face is the reigning champion, Lithuania's Zidrunas Zabikas, viewed by many as the strongest man of all time. There are challenges all around. From Russia, the Olympic lifter Mikhail Koklyev. England's Terry Hollands, a podium finisher in 2007. And perhaps the greatest challenge will come from the USA in the form of the giant Brian Shaw. Many questions, but there can only be one world's strongest man. We start with the loading race and a real twist to what has become a firm strongest man favourite. Three 120 kilogram bags of sand need to be carried 10 metres up the course and loaded onto this one and a half metre platform. The complicating factor, the entire course, is underwater. And these bags of sand, once they've soaked up some of that water, will be pushing 150 kilos. This is definitely one for the taller athletes, and Terry Holland certainly fits that bill. So his salmon is with Big Tell. Well, Terry, you've definitely got the height for this event, but have you got the conditioning? Do you think you're fit enough? Um, I'm not really too sure, to be honest. I think it's going to be a really tough event, especially this early in the morning, this tough way to start the day. But, I mean, I'll just get out there, do my best and see what happens. Of course, you have an injury to your bicep. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a worry, but just like the Africa stone in the heats, it's, it's a little bit of a worry on the pickup. but I've just got to get out there and do my best. Let's have a close look at the rules. They're quite simple. A 75-second time limit to lift three sacks weighing that massive 120 kilos. A real gut-wrenching performance for the first event. And these guys have gone already. Kaklaev, the great weightlifter from Russia, he leads the way. 68.34 seconds. From the USA, Travis Ortmeier. A slim down Travis Ortmeier. Every inch the muscle man. One of the tallest. Right, from England. Terry Hollands of England. Hollands. An enormous fella. Six feet six inches tall. Almost 400 pounds in body weight. The front. This is going to be very interesting. Ready? Away we go. And Travis Ortmeier, good sprinter, I bet, in his day. But he's the guy that gets away the quickest. And Ortmeier, he's got longer legs, I think, than Terry Hollands, despite the fact he's two inches shorter. But he is moving the best so far. Well, he's the new slim down Travis Ortmeier, and I think that's really going to be beneficial in this event, especially when we get to the third sack. Now, these sacks are made of a kind of almost seatbelt material. They're very slippy, so hard to hang on to. 120 kilos, 264 pounds. That's knocking on the door of 19 stones in weight. And Terry Hollands is struggling. I hope there's not going to be a reoccurrence of injury here for the man from Dartford. But it's Travis Ortmeier who's leading the way. Well, he's chasing that time of Kokhlaev, 68 seconds, and he looks good for it, the American. He's going to stop the clock any minute now. 58.72. Absolutely superb. And Terry Hollands really has just run out of steam here. He's going to finish with two sacks. And he finished those two sacks in 45.73. But that is not a great start to this final for Terry. Travis Ortmeier, on the other hand, leading the way. He's just going to sit back and wait and see what happens. Well, Hollins looked good on the first sack and then just tired on the second. As for Ortmeier, he's really had a dream start to this final. World's strongest man, 
Zydrinus Savickas. The defence of his title begins here. His fifth World's Strongest Man final. From the USA, Ryan Now, Brian Shaw Shaw could be a contender. Certainly the tallest man here at six feet eight inches tall. And like his teammate Travis Ortmeyer, very athletic, should be good through the water. Ready? Well, as you saw, that picture of Ortmeyer, 58-72, leads the way. And Shaw just a little bit quicker than Savikas at the moment. Oh, he's a very tall man, Brian Shaw. He's a former college basketball player who's just hit the weight so hard in the last few years. But he's still athletic. He can run well, Shaw, and he's running himself into the lead here. I think pacing yourself could be an issue here, Colin. In the past, we've seen in these endurance events, some of the strong men go off a little bit too quickly and they've really run out of steam. Oh, Big Z trying a different way of holding it. Almost carrying it like the Africa stones that we saw in the heat. Trying to maybe conserve a little energy in his arms. Now, can Brian Shaw make some headway here with a third sack? Just a reminder of the time. Shaw's got to beat 58-72. He's running out of time as well. He's got a couple of meters to go, and then he's got to lift it on. Oh, it's gone. He should have beaten it. He could have beaten it. And look at that. Zavikas in the background. So back to Brian Shaw. He could have won this event. He started celebrating too early. He may live to regret that. But what about Savikas? Oh, he started doing the backstroke at one point. 45-58, but only two sacks oh! Brian Shaw there 68.89 good enough only at the moment for third place big mistake well Brian Shaw he had the win he tried to take his hands off quickly to get a good time and it just slipped down again well Brian I'm sure you don't need me to tell you small margins can cost so much and that must have been so painful for you <laughs> Yeah, it was, I was coming in there and, you know, the time stops when you get your hands off the, the bag. So, you know, something like that, a little bit wet, a little bit slick maybe. Uh, you know, I just should have taken an extra second to push it on and it would have gave me a couple more points. But really, you know, I'm not in bad shape, I don't think. I mean, it's not like I dropped a bunch. But in this type of a contest at this level, that is, that's a big mistake, you know, and it's stupid really on my part. No more mistakes further down the line. Absolutely not. A bitter pill for Brian Shaw to swallow. He'll have to make do with third place. It's Ortmeier who wins it. Zavikas down in sixth, but his best events are still to come here. Terry Holland makes a steady start. Next up, an event that's become a firm WSM favourite. People like cactus because it's, it's not like a huge airplane. They don't really understand the weight. And the CEOs throwing cacks, you know, they understand that it takes a lot of effort. It's just something that catches your eye and you're like, wow, look at that. You know, it's just kind of crazy and, you know, kind of cool. And it's fun to watch. It's colorful, it's loud, it's fast paced. I think it's fun for everybody. Welcome back to the Valley of the Waves here in Sun City, where before the break, Terry Hollands came a creditable seventh in a dramatic loading race. Next up, though, is an event in which he's excelled in recent years. It's the keg toss, and it sounds simple enough. Throws these barrels over that wall. However, they range in weight from 17 to 24 kilograms. That wall is four metres high, and the wind is really kicking up. This is going to be fascinating. Again, the time limit, 75 seconds. All eight kegs have got to go over as quickly as possible. And believe me, four metres looks small. It's not. And these guys have gone already. Once again, Kaklaev leading the way at the moment. Eight kegs, the maximum, 27.61, a long way ahead of Irvin Katona. Ladies and gentlemen, from England, Terry Hollands. Well, Terry Hollands, of course, because of his height, well-equipped to do this event. I just wonder how uh, his injury problems are at the oh, moment. A little bit Terry. fragile here in Ready. Sun City is Terry. So here we go. The first one should be easy, 17 kilos flies over the top oh he launched that but he's got to make sure he gets them over you don't want to waste any energy oh you see he was going a bit casual there hollands now he'll get tired if he wastes too much time doing them again and again number four oh he's getting better now learned his lesson didn't he just standing a little bit further away that's good got the sixth one over now the two heaviest of all just needed a couple of extra inches there. 
And Terry running into problems early doors in this World's Strongest Man final. He didn't want that, really. In this event, you tend to hit the wall figuratively as well as literally. Your body just shuts down on you, and Holland's knows he's done this event before. You only have so long that your explosive fibres and your muscle can work. Looking a bit dejected is Terry. I thought he was standing a little bit too close to the stands there. Hadn't reached its full height before it hit the barrier. From Iceland, Stefan Solvi Peterson. And so our first close look here at Stefan Solvi Peterson. His first World Strongest Man final, but he is Iceland's strongest man, and that is a great accolade to come into a competition with. A little swift movement there goes soaring over at the first attempt. But he spent a huge amount of time in Scotland this year doing events just like this at the Highland Games. He's a great thrower, Stefan Solvi. Now he's getting towards the business end. The gold one's going over. Now these 24 kilos. This isn't so easy. Right on cue as well there. His first failure. Almost had his hands there on the second 24 kilogram barrel. Just taking his time now just scrapes over has he got the energy left to get this final one over yes just one little slip up but that was very good indeed there is his time confirmed at 36.53 good effort well the Icelander not quite as quick as the Russian but he battled his way all the way through it kept his cool when he missed one and carried on from Lithuania the defending 2009 World's Strongest Man, Zadrinas Sobekas. The big Z, the man who's really building himself a legendary status amongst strong men throughout the world. Foot behind the line. If he Ready. could dip under 30 seconds, it would be a cracking performance. Oh, he's miles away. He's not just throwing them over the barrier. I reckon he's going to throw them out in the arena at this rate. This is phenomenal. He actually had two barrels in the air at one point. I can't believe how quick Big Z is. Well, if you can't go over, go through it. Yes! Absolutely superb. Well, I said, could he go under 30? He almost went under 20 seconds. 21.19 for the defending champion. That was just stunning how quick he was. He's not giving up his grasp on the title yet, that's for sure. I wonder well, if anybody can beat that. Ryan Shaw. Ryan Shaw of the United States, six feet eight inches tall, superbly physically equipped for this. But has he got the technique, the temperament, the line, and the timing? Ready. It's an immense target that's been set by the defending champion. Shaw looking good. He is going well, isn't he? Now, a little slip on the second barrel there when he was gripping it. He's really got to be picture perfect here to beat Big Z. Keep your eyes on the clock. It's going to be close. Very close. It hits the deck. 20.75. Brian Shaw doesn't know the time yet. He does now. Oh, yes. Brilliant. We thought Savikas was superb. What does that make this man? Oh, you can just hear the relief in those screams. After the big mistake in the sack load, he really had to be perfect here. He didn't look as fast as Big Z, did he, Paul? But he nailed it. Absolutely perfect. Well, nobody thought Sadrinus' time could be beaten, and you did. So well done. Must be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I, I actually, I trained the kegs a lot. You know, I really did, and, and uh, I love this event. You've got to try to stay loose and move quick, you know, and just be quick but don't hurry is kind of what I say to myself. But um, it worked out well, and I'm very happy with that. Well, he had a plan. He stuck to it, and it paid off. I wonder what Travis Ortmeyer, his American teammate, has got up his sleeve, leading after the first event. He's got to do something superhuman here to win it. Well, I think Travis's tactics will be just go mad, go bananas. That's what he did a couple of years ago, and he won this event. He's attacking it as fast as he can. It's going to be closed. That one almost didn't go over. Again, watch the clock at the top of the screen. I don't think he's going to win it. He's just out of time, is he? Yes, he is. He's actually down in third place on any other day. Surely that would have been good enough for victory. 
What a performance from Shaw. Zavikas looked to have set an impossible time. The American beat it by half a second. Hollands will be disappointed with his showing. He would have expected to get all eight kegs despite that injured bicep. From the USA, Brian Shaw. It's so tight at the top, just four points separate the top four men, but Shaw is looking ominously good. Tight at the bottom too, Jason Bergman and first-time finalist Pettersson are going well. So he salmons at the next event. Thank you, Martin. I am here with three times world's strongest man, Bill Kazmar, at our next event, the Giant Log Press. Now, this is a piece of equipment that we haven't seen in eight years. It's going to provide a great indication of who could walk away with this year's title. So, Bill, talk us through what we are about to see. Well, it's going to be a brutal event. It starts with 155 kilos, taken to the shoulders and pressed to arm's length for a down signal. That has to take place in a 60 second time period. Right from there, they're going to the world record 175 and beyond. This will truly decide who is the greatest presser of our time. And there are some awesome pressers here today. World record plus. It's going to be pretty tight at the top, but three athletes for you to look out for. Our current champs, Zdrinis Savickas, Misha Kuklaev and Derek Pinestone. The opening weight for all our competitors, 155, Nick Best got it easily but couldn't go any higher. And neither could Jason Bergman of the United States. All of these guys trying to get 170, no successes so far. None for Terry Hollands. Another guy tying for sixth place overall. Irvin Katona, he too fell foul of 170 kilos. Then along came Travis Ortmeyer. Could this guy do it? Thought he'd got it the first time, then toppled over, and this was to be his last attempt in this event. Another sixth placer, an injured one at that. Then it looked easy for Stefan Solvi Peterson. 170 kilos to break the deadlock. Next up was Brian Shaw. He'd got 177.5, tried to go higher. A rare failure for the jovial American. Derek Poundstone did go higher at 185. Looking absolutely superb, but then tried to go five kilos heavier. Couldn't quite do it. Along came Zavigas, considered by many to be the best overhead lifter in the world. Made 190 look easy. And then, what about the Russian, the Olympic weightlifter? Couldn't believe it. Kaklaev, a failure? Never heard of. Went back a second time. No bets for guessing what happened. Successful at 190 kilos. Two men still left in the competition. The giant log has moved on to 202 and a half kilos. That's nearly 450 pounds. Kaklaev yet to make his first attempt, but very interested to see how Zavigas gets on. And when you talk about a giant log, this is the biggest log I've ever seen, Colin. It is enormous. Wow, what pressing power for Big Z. And after Kokhlaev's near failure at 190, he must be a little worried now. Very smooth, very slow, very steady. Rolls it up his chest, but what about the overhead press? It's just all shoulders and triceps. Incredible power in the upper body. So Kokhlaev has got to follow that. Zavikas just sitting patiently Time waiting. Starts now! Kaklaev in third place overall after the first two events. This fella's got the technique, but has he got the bottle? He's got to hit it hard with the legs. Oh! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we're getting in world record territory here. World record 215 with a metal log. Who knows what could happen? It's neck and neck between Iceland and Russia. Well, you just have to love Koklaev. 190, nearly stumbles. Now look at him at 202 and a half, using that weightlifting background and pushing Big Z all the way, loving it. Well, Savikas knows he's in a fight for his life here for the points. 210 kilos now, right. Koklaev. I'll tell you what, I don't think there's a calmer man in South Africa at the moment than the Russian. Now, this guy's got the strength. The Russian has the technique. But this is an outrageous weight. Can he press it? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe how much strength he's got in his arms and shoulders. 
Oh, Koklaev knows he's got to go out and do 210 kilos now. There's only one man in the world who's ever done that, and we're looking at him. Big Z. And look at the leg, still strapped from earlier in the heats when he hurt it. Everything had to come from the shoulders, and he managed it. Amazing. I think we've just seen one of the greatest lifts ever in World's Strongest Man with Savikas. 210 kilos, and Kuklaev has got to try Time and match it. Starts now. Every point in this competition is absolutely crucial. If he got this, we'd then be in world record territory. He hasn't got it. And I think that clean, that roll up to the chest there, just took a little bit too much out of him. He just seemed to run out of steam there. Well, we're almost 20 kilos over where he nearly failed before. I'm just amazed he got it to his shoulders. He's giving it another crack. No, he knows it's over. That's it for Kuklaev. The Russian has to hand it to the Lithuanian. Safikas is the master. Big points. And that will move him up the table. Good second place, though, for Misha Kuklaev of Russia. What a contest. Absolutely fabulous. And this is what World's Strongest Man is all about. I think the crowd would have enjoyed that. I hope they did. It was phenomenal. I look at Koklaev again at the end there. He wasn't going down without a fight. But 210 kilos is just too much for him. Congratulations, Adrinas. You just refuse to be beaten in this event. You just do whatever it takes, don't you? Uh, it's my favorite event. I, I, I always like this event. And uh, my training results, is, it's higher. Uh, so it's... It was not, not so hard event. I know that uh, I will lift what I need. What theatre in Sun City, an amazing 210 kilos from Savikas. The previous record, a mere 175. Five locked together in sixth place. Among them, Terry Holland's 155, the maximum here. It's even tighter at the top. The Russian, Kuklaev in pole position, Savikas and Shaw within striking distance. Terry Hollands really needs to get going if he's to stand any chance of making the top half. Poundstone up to sixth. Who from Brian Shaw, Misha Koklaev, Zidrina Savikas, or Travis Ortmeyer can break the deadlock? The whiskey barrel carry will reveal all. Welcome back to Sun City and the final of World's Strongest Man. It's been a barnstormer. American Brian Shaw started the drama in the opening event. He was the winner of the loading race until that mistake cost him dear. His countryman, Travis Ortmeyer, took full advantage. No mistakes from Shaw in the second event. An amazing time sealed the victory. He seemed pretty pleased too. Then before the break, one of the greatest events in WSM history, Zidrunas Avikas winning with an amazing 210 kilo lift, shattering the previous world record. The drama continued as Travis Ortmeyer crashed down with what was feared to be a broken ankle. The doctors gave it a thorough check, strapped it up, and it was thumbs up for the Texan. So the great news is that Travis Ortmeyer will continue, but how badly will that injury affect him physically, and perhaps more importantly, mentally? Because the next event is really going to hit him hard. It's the Whiskey Barrel Carry. 360 kilos of oak barrel need to be carried 20 metres down the course, then spin around and bring them all the way back again. One man who knows a thing or two about putting his body through pain is former world's strongest man, Bill Kazmar. Bill, Travis Ortmeier's brain will probably be a scramble at the moment, wondering whether he can keep up with this. How badly is this going to affect him? Well, if you just look at the weights, 360 in his hands plus his body weight, that's nearly 500 kilos coming down on that sore ankle. And depending on how bad it's hurt, it is his Achilles heel. It could just crumble. His brain will get the message, shut down, and he's through. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen to him. There are other big, big men in this event. Who do you see excelling at this? Well, for sure, the American number three last year, Brian Shaw. And, of course, the Russian Mikhail Kokolaev. And then there's Zadruna Zavikas, who's the returning champion. These three guys are mountains of men and are really going to be ready to move a massive weight like this. Big names there and big men. Difficult to pick a winner, but one thing we can guarantee, it's going to hurt a lot. 
It certainly is. There are the rules. They're very simple. This massive weight, nearly 800 pounds, has to be carried down the course of 40 meters. And the maximum time allowable, 75 seconds. Fastest time wins. Well, Terry Hollands, unfortunately, had real problems. Those handles ripping his hands to shreds. And this fellow, Derek Poundstone, didn't fare any better. He had a very poor result indeed. So there's the situation as we head to the final few. Only two men have managed to complete this course so far. Nick Best and Stefan Solvi Peterson of Iceland. From the USA, Travis Ortmeier. Well, Travis Ortmeier has made the start line remarkably. I wonder how much he's hurting at the moment. And in lane two, from Lithuania, Zidrina Savikas. Savikas! What a performance previously when he lifted that massive weight overhead. I wonder how much it's taken out of him. Ready! Here we go. I wonder how much balance has got to play here, Colin. Oh, it's a big question of balance. You can see it rocking forwards and backwards. That takes a lot of forearm strength, grip strength, to try and stop it from hitting the ground. And with 360 kilos, it's not easy. Well, poor old Travis Ortmeier is absolutely miles behind as Zavikas heads for home. Just wobbling a little bit, but it's smooth enough. He's going to finish. And this is going to be a very fast time indeed. What a cracking time, 26.54. And this fella is suffering more and more as time goes on. He's still got trouble with his ankle, hasn't he? But Savikas really has set the bar high here, 26.54. I don't know if anybody can beat that. Phenomenal. Travis Ortmeier, how much longer will his problems continue? Well, Ortmeier's left ankle really causing him problems. You can see he's dropped the weight there. It's just too much for him. As for Zavikas, though, what a sprinter with this incredible weight. In lane one, from Russia, Mikhail Kuklaev. Mikhail Kuklaev, the co-leader after first three events. In lane two, from the this USA. This is very first World's Brian Strongest Man appearance Shaw. as well. Up against Brian Shaw, seeking a first World's Strongest Man title. This Take is a great head-to-head. -head. And Kuklaev... Well, he's been flying over the last couple of events. Ready? But as we were saying, Savikas has set the bar very high. A brilliant time by the Lithuanian. 26.54. And Shaw's going well. Kuklaev's going well. Both turning around exactly the same time. It's going to be neck and neck. But who can get away first? It's Brian Shaw by just a hair. Oh, this is good. It's very quick. Kuklaev goes down, though. Oh, and so does Shaw as well. He's not going to close the gap on Savikas, that is for sure. Making two or three mistakes towards the end. And look at that, after going so well, both of them have totally run out of gas. It's going to be close. It's got to go over the line. Shaw gets that one, uh, followed by Kaklaev. My goodness, Savikas must have thought his lead was under threat there. So congratulations to Savikas, certainly in order. Kaklaev, disappointing, I bet. Fifth place at the moment. And Brian Shaw, if it hadn't been for that mistake, who knows what time he might have done. Well, it's a catalogue of mistakes for Shaw. The sack, and now dropping the barrel. I think he just went a little too quick, and his hands, his grip, couldn't handle it. 26.54 for Savikas. Is that the time that will seal his second title? Brian Shaw suffers another lapse of concentration. Terry Hollands will be disappointed not to have finished, undone by a torn and bloody hand. Daylight between the champion and the contender now, and Kuklaev is still in with a chance of a debut title. Hollands is down in ninth after suffering that hand injury. Who will win it, though? Zoe is about to get an expert opinion. Hi Sven, I know that you've been watching everything that's been going on so far in the finals and of course we are at the stage where there's two events left to go. So uh, how do you reckon our man Terry Hollins has been getting on? I'm not sure that we've seen the best out of him this year. No, we haven't because he has come out of a very serious injury. I probably have never ever seen anybody coming out of a bicep stair as fast as he has done now. So actually I'm so amazed that he achieved what he has achieved already probably won't be anywhere near the top five but three guys who most certainly will Brian, Sidrinus and Misha doing very well. What do you reckon of their performances so far in the final? 
Well, it's been a little bit rocky ride for all of them. You know, uh, Misha is probably the one who has done the best from what we thought he was going to do. Sudrunas have been struggling a small injury, and uh, Brian has made a few mistakes. But it's going to be very interesting now, being so close on points, and both of them are very good at the last two events. And what about our 10 finalists? Are they the 10 strongest men in the world? Have we got a great lineup this year? Well, I put it this way, world's strongest man is definitely here. He's not at home. The former world's strongest man, certainly right about that. So the amphitheatre is set here for the next competition, the deadlift. The weight, 355 kilos, got to be lifted as many times as possible. And that's just what Nick Best has done at the moment. Nine repetitions ahead of Terry Hollands of England and Irving Katona of Serbia. Travis. So the first man Ortmeier. that we see, Travis Ortmeier, has been brilliant in years gone by. And how much he's left of that super strength at home due to his reduced body weight. Up against Mikhail Koklaev, who's absolutely flying at the moment. And there's Travis's British-born wife and child looking on with Ready, huge pride. Lift. So here we go. It's going to be a toughie. Nine repetitions is the lead at the moment. Well, Ortmeier really struggled in the heats to pull good deadlifts. Now he's injured. He looks almost better. Kokhlaev, slow and steady, lifts them like a weightlifter. Perfect straight back and good form. But he's behind here. I can't believe this. Ortmeier up to seven. Well, Ortmeier is certainly deceptive. He has lost a lot of body weight over the last 12 months. Lean, full of muscle, full of determination. Head to head now and Kokhlaev. Just moving ahead by one rep. Ormeyer, no, he can't get the ninth, but Kokhlaev does. Very impressive from Travis Ormeyer, all the same. But it's Kokhlaev here who's gone to double figures. He's gone ahead of Nick Best. Ormeyer currently in third place. And look at this. Ormeyer saying, come on, you can do it again. Very good friends. Training partners as well. Huge sportsmanship there. Well done to both of them. Currently tied for third places, Travis. But we've got a new leader here, Mikhail Koklaev. A dead cert in this event in some ways. Ten repetitions. Brilliant. Ortmeier fighting through that pain in his ankle. Pulls a real record lift for him. As for Koklaev, we expected him to do well and he delivered. From the USA, Brian... Shaw! Ryan Shaw of the United States Ronald looks really Ronald psyched Ronald up for this one. A defending champion. Perhaps at a bit of a disadvantage Zemekas. being so tall, but Zavikas, the great professional, mentally strong, physically strong, has been in this situation before and looking to retain his title. Well, Brian Shaw shooting that first one up. Zavikas matches him. He's trying to get them out as quick as possible, Shaw, before he gets tired here. I don't think I've ever seen Zavikas beaten in a deadlift contest, though. He's great at reps. He's great at maximum lifts. And he's slow and steady here. Shaw starting to slow down. He has to jack it up his thighs there to get seven. He's got to pull it further than anybody else. But Savikas, slow and steady. Shaw, probably the most dynamic of the two, but it's Savikas who's super, super strong here. But who would have believed it? Absolutely, totally locked together on nine reps. Here they go. Is it going to be ten for Savikas? It is, and for Shaw. One more for the victory for either of these men. Look at the strain on Savikas's face. Well, there's blood pouring from his nose. Gets number 11. They've still got time on their side. Now, come on, Brian Shaw. Just inch by inch. Down to full extension. It's 11 each, and Brian Shaw is delighted. Savikas still trying. Look at that. They're locked at the top of the leaderboard. They're locked in this event. It could not have been closer. So Zidrina Savikas confirms his status as one of the world's strongest men, maybe the world's strongest man. We'll find out soon. But he's being chased hard by this very tall American, Brian Shaw. It was Zavikas who got the 11th rep up first, but it's not for time. Shaw then matched him. 
It took him about 15 seconds to get it up his thighs, but he did it. You know what, Paul? I cannot call this. They're so close in strength. Sidrina, can you feel the title within your grasp? Uh, I feel always I want to fight. Always. We'll see. Only one event. How aware were you there of Brian obviously being so close there in the number of reps? I thought before that he will be biggest in this event also, and uh, I was right. Well, one event left, Sidrinus. All the very best of luck. Thank you. Zavikas and Shaw still locked together. What a contest this has been. Kuklaev maintains his challenge with 10 reps. A very respectable seven reps from Katona, but Derek Poundstone looks like he wants to be on the plane home. Just two points separate the leaders, but Kuklaev has slipped a little. He has sealed at least third, though. Hollands is moving in the right direction, and Icelander Peterson will have eyes on a top five finish in his debut final. But the shootout at the top is all that really matters now. After the break, the Atlas Stones will decide who will be World's Strongest Man 2010. Welcome back to Sun City in South Africa for this very simple question. Brian Shaw or Zydrinus Savickas, the young pretender or the battle-hardened veteran? Competition has been so tight, but now it's the Stones that will determine who will be World's Strongest Man for 2010. It's a brutal test of strength and stamina. Five granite stones need to be lifted up onto these raised platforms, the heaviest of which weighs an eye-watering 185 kilos. To put that into perspective, imagine having to lift up Brian Shaw himself and dump him on this one-and-a-half-metre platform, and that's after you've already picked up four of his very big mates. It's so tight at the top of the table. The defending champion's still there by a couple of points, but Brian Shaw is going to chase him all the way. And now the young American is talking to Zoe. Brian, did you ever think you'd come so close to winning World's Strongest Man at such a young age? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, uh, it's, you know, been a, been a dream of mine to win this contest, and it's right there. I mean, all, all, honestly, all I can do is control what I do. And, and uh, you know, if I come out and I win this event, we'll see where, we'll see where it falls. You know, I'll put, uh, put all the pressure on Zadrunas and, and um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Anything can happen. You and Zadrunas, though, are both going to be absolutely brilliant at this event. So what's it going to come down to? A mistake? Uh, well, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, both of us have obviously done it a lot and we're both very good and, you know, just who's a little bit better. And then, you know, I need, obviously I need a couple guys to get in, in between us. So, you know, like I said, all, all I can do is I can control what I do and, and go out and have a good stone run and then we'll see what happens. Brian, all the very best of luck. Thank you very much. Well, there's good news for English fans in this competition. Solvay Peterson there up against the giant Terry Hollands. And Terry Hollands lifting five stones for the first time since a severe arm injury earlier on this year. Finishing off with a flourish. And certainly being urged on there by the Icelander. Five stones in 53.23 seconds. On my left, from the USA, Travis Ortmeier. Last appearance of Travis Ortmeier of the United States. He's been in this position before. Never finished in the top three, though. Mikhail Koklaev, Misha. Third place after five events. What a performer this guy is. And there is the situation currently. Solvi Peterson, five stones in 28.23. Ahead of Jason Bergman and England's Terry Holland. Hey, guys, white line. Ready? You can almost cut the atmosphere with a knife here. Koklaev. Not the tallest of the two men, but he gets his stone up first. Well, Kokhlaev isn't the greatest stone lifter, but Ortmeier is suffering with an injury, so he should really beat the Texan here. Well, you can see that stone sticking to Kokhlaev's T-shirt. Bare-chested, though, Ortmeier still a little bit behind. Now the big one. This stone weighs over 400 pounds, and Ortmeier in all sorts of problems on stone number four. Well, Brian Shaw will be hoping that Kuklaev gets this up quickly. He needs as many people as possible to do all five stones so he can then win and hope that Big C has trouble. Oh, uh, Ortmeier, what a tough, tough final he's had. Well, all the sticky stuff there, making it difficult for him to take his shirt off. 
Currently in second place. A time just under 40 seconds. And Travis Ortmeyer, well, it's been a quite a dramatic event, this one, and the whole of World's Strongest Man final for the American. Koklaev nailing that fifth stone. Great way to finish. And out comes the old Soviet T-shirt. A little Cold War joke with his pal, Ortmar. It's all come down to this. We've had some great finishers in previous World's Strongest Man competitions. This could be one of the closest ever. The defending champion up against the young pretender, Brian Shaw of the United States. Just a reminder, Shaw has to win. And Savikas mustn't finish any lower than third. I can't wait for this one. Well, Brian, straight to the shoulder. He's very quick. Shaw, I think, in fact, almost certainly is the best stone lifter in the world. So it's down to Big Z. How close can Z keep to Brian? We're going to be watching the clock as well as the number of stones. This could be one on countback, depending on where these two guys both finish. In theory, it's possible for both to end up with the same number of points. Shaw has won it. Now, where has Zavikas finished? I think he might have finished in third place. And that means that Brian Shaw has missed out by the narrowest of margins. Zavikas, if we didn't know it already, goes down as one of the all-time greats. He has retained the title. He won so brilliantly last year. He's done it again in 2010. Thank you. Well, Shaw couldn't have done any more there. He nailed the stones, he won it, but turns around to see Big Z finish it off, and he knows that's his chances dashed. Big Z cementing his name as one of the greats of all time. Citrinus, do you think that this win makes you the greatest strong man of all time? Uh, somebody uh, said uh, I won two World's Strongest Man, I won two... Europe Championship, I won six Arnold Classic Champions and I have now 48 world records. So it's very huge achievements. I compete for 19 years. I think it's one of the longest career in the strongman sport. Well, we're all very proud of you here. Congratulations, Adrenas. Thank you. It was too much to imagine that Zavikas would finish fourth in a real specialist event for him, but it's Brian Shaw who wins the stones. Holland's clearly thrilled at putting up five stones for the first time since that horrific injury. He'll be better than ever next year. The cruelest of outcomes for Brian Shaw, level on points with the champion, but loses out on the countback of best-placed finishes. Holland's has to make do with eighth, one above Poundstone. Congratulations to Best and Katona on debut. The 2010 Metrics World's Strongest Man from Lithuania, Zydrinas Savikas! Well, if it was drama you were after, then Sun City has been the place to be. Poor old Brian Shaw. He will have sleepless nights over that drop loading sack and miss two points in the first event. But he'll certainly be the favourite to lift the trophy next year. For now, however, the plaudits, the congratulations, and more importantly, the title go once again to Zydrunas Savikas, the world's strongest man. <laughs>